Few phones encourage and inspire me to get really creative with my captures and dive deep into all of their features. Flagship Galaxy smartphones are definitely part of that list. And with this Galaxy S22 Ultra, it's all about reliable versatility. I mean, just the intro alone was shot using most of the lenses at 4K resolution, slow motion, and after setting up the shot, I didn't have to reach over to the record button because this S Pen down here is now the effective remote, not just for hitting the shutter, but for even changing up the modes. And with the coffee boost completed, let's get out and about with the cameras of the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? All right, here we are with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. We are finally here with the real world camera test. But before we get going, this front facing camera right here, 4K video recording, something I always love to see on these. And it also has autofocus with a good amount of stabilization. So this is going to be a good vlogging phone, as many recent Samsung devices tend to be. Going vertical for this one, just to kind of show off a couple of things. I am wearing a pink shirt today. Uh, number one, love it, Uniqlo shirt, but also it kind of fits because today is a special particular day. And I should do something with this phone's new S Pen uh, in order to celebrate that. Babe, 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 mm -hmm. babe, 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 did you get it? Did you get it yet? Did you get it? This? <laughs> Happy Valentine Day. Hello everyone! I'll be letting you watch this vlog of sorts with all of the footage that I got through here while chiming in from time to time to give some thoughts and perspective. Now, right off the bat, I will mention that on paper, it doesn't really seem that much has been updated on the hardware front. The specs of the Galaxy S22 Ultra and last year's S21 Ultra are largely the same, but Samsung's attention this year was on updating the processing, the software, and combining as much as they could to provide the latest generation evolution. Frankly speaking, if you have been happy with Galaxy S photos and videos in the recent past, then you're sure to like it again here, but some of the enhancements are significant and noteworthy. One thing you might notice during this video is what I'm using with the phone. While the handle that I'm using is the trusty PGY Tech Mantis Pod, I've protected the phone using cases by ESR. Quick thanks to ESR for sponsoring this video. Let's start with some added protection before the cases even come into play. ESR make these camera lens protectors that are applied to each actual lens of the Galaxy S22 Ultra, literally adding a layer of just half a millimeter to them so that you won't be scratching the all-important lens glass haphazard. Now I have this burgundy edition of the phone which does look really nice, so if we don't want to be covering it up, there is the clear case by ESR which is a great pick so that you can still show off the look of the phone. It's a really simple clear case, only 1.5 millimeters thick on the back, so you're not going to be adding a whole lot of bulk to an already pretty massive smartphone. The case all around will absorb any shock, and the material is actually made to resist yellowing. And that's that whole thing where your clear case actually starts to look a little less clear over time. For some added functionality, there is the clear version of the kickstand case. This kickstand is actually pretty sturdy and snaps back into the case so it's not flailing about and you can just secure it when you're done. I'm actually using the kickstand case in black. It has all the same features but adds some matted patterned material on the backing to help with grip. The Galaxy S22 Ultra might be a little bit unwieldy for me, but it's definitely easier to handle with this case on and this kickstand is just a really nice bonus. You can check out ESR's products in the link that I have in the description. I also have this code that you're seeing right now that you can use to get 15% off of your purchase. Thanks again to ESR for protecting my Galaxy S22 Ultra and for sponsoring this video. Nice 4K video recording on the front. Always love that across every Samsung Galaxy device. Well, flagship device, I should say. But yeah, I'm always gonna talk about it every time I do it. However, now with the S22 Ultra, we have the S Pen. And since I'm using a little like handle selfie stick type thing right now, this comes in handy because I can hit record using this button. 
not have to like <laughs> although i could like use the pen and like go like this <laughs> that's another way to do it maybe <laughs> they have multiple uses <laughs> So as I will mention again and again in this video, there are so many tools at the Galaxy S22 Ultra's disposal, but it's not like I even used most of them in this camera test. As per usual, I'm using this phone simply as a companion during my normal outings, and I'm sprinkling in some of the extra features because they can be fun or effective or both. Some of the modes I didn't use are ones you're probably familiar with anyway, things like Pro, Pro Video, and Single Take. Now while this next thing I'm going to talk about is not particularly new, I do want to mention that the Pro Video mode allows for the use of Bluetooth audio products as the microphone. You've seen me use that in the past for a couple of generations now, um, and I just didn't test it this time for this video. But that's okay because as you've probably heard by now, the onboard mics on the Galaxy S22 Ultra are actually doing a pretty good job already. While there might not be anything truly revolutionary about the Galaxy S22 Ultra, it might seem a little bit derivative from previous Samsung flagships, it also means that Samsung knows that everything that they've been doing for the last couple of years has worked. They say a poor craftsman blames his tools, uh, but on the flip side, a great craftsman will use every single tool that they possibly can. And in the Galaxy S22 Ultra, there are so many, almost too many tools. And what's great is that Samsung is making sure that all of those tools will actually help you in pretty much every situation that you might be looking to use them for, including social media applications. I just started the recording on Instagram stories using hands-free mode, but I was able to trigger the recording using the button on the S Pen. I'm gonna do the same to stop the recording also. I'm just gonna go over here. We have a really great example of what all of that looks like. You can check out Issa's video, literally using this phone for a number, pretty much all of the different social media networks, using it on TikTok, on Snapchat, on Instagram, and what is available to them uh, because Samsung has enabled as much as possible across each app. And this is all very significant because historically, using Android phones for social media platforms, recording on them and whatnot, it hasn't always been the best experience. So Samsung is trying to address that in the Galaxy S22 Ultra, not just providing uh, all of the lenses for use in those applications, but also the processing and of course, extra tools like the one in my hand. If there's one thing I really appreciate about the Galaxy S22 Ultra shooting experience, it's the stable footage. For someone like me that likes parallax and panning motions in my videos, even in my smartphone vlogs, uh, the combination of the digital stabilization and the OIS across most of the lenses actually elevates the shooting experience on this phone. Once again, used the S Pen so that I can trigger the recording in this mode that was introduced in the last generation, the director's view. Uh, something that you can argue may not be particularly useful for everybody, but as I walk through the LA Arboretum right now, you can see me in perfectly framed shot in the corner Corner, and I'm just using the wide angle at the same time to just document this little stroll that I'm having through the lush gardens. It's really in a place like the Arboretum that I actually find myself using zooms. In general, I don't have a need for zooming very far, but I will say that Samsung's approach is effective. By having separate sensors for three times and 10 times zooming, you can actually see the quality get better as you cross those marks. Beyond maybe 30 times, the hybrid zooming up to 100 times brings back the watercolors though, which is probably to be expected. Whole sections of the Arboretum that have been closed for quite some time are finally open, including a, uh, path that gets you to this railroad station. Uh, historical, it's not in operation anymore. But it's nice to see that. By the way, wide angle camera on the rear, turning it around and using it as the vlogging cam. Because the ultra wide angle is capable of autofocus, it means that I can use it pretty effectively for vlogging like this, but it also lends itself to an extra feature and that is focus enhancer. Basically, it's like a macro mode and you've seen me use it a couple of times already in this video. I mean, you just have so many different tools at your disposal, and that's the best part about this phone. Uh, I didn't even use everything in the making of this YouTube video. However, this clip is using the auto framing mode uh, on the front facing camera. So with that turned on, and I think it's at 1080p right now, um, that's the resolution it needs to be in. If I were to move back, uh, 
it would reframe me automatically. I'm actually pretty far away from the camera right now. And of course, let's not forget portrait video. Uh, this is their take on the bokeh effects in the background and whatnot. Uh, my favorite filter of these is glitch, which is kind of funny, a technological glitch filter in a place full of nature. Or of course, color point. Uh, this one is also fun to use. And finally, we have a look at one of Samsung's main enhancements, Adaptive Pixel. It's basically their fancy way of saying that everything the main sensor can do has been just mashed together to create great pictures. Now, the technicalities of it all might be overwhelming, but basically, it's adding a shot of the full 108 megapixel high resolution readout on top of the other two tricks that smartphones tend to use to get good pictures, pixel binning and multi-frame HDR-like capture. All of that together is meant to provide not just great shots in general, but to help in more difficult scenarios like this one. And this is pretty much what it looks like to my eyes right now. It's pretty dark over here and it's really light over here. But using the main sensor tapping on both areas, it does seem that the adaptive pixel that Samsung put into the S22 Ultra is actually doing a pretty good job, evening out the highlights in the middle and then making sure that this on the right side, all this bamboo, is actually getting exposed a bit more properly. Speaking of additions to the photo experience, check this photo out. Can you tell that I was actually in it? Yep, this is the object eraser at work, and I was right there in the middle. Now that we have the S Pen, it is easier to select the subject to remove, so if I just sort of draw a little line around myself there, perfect, hit erase, and it's gone. There might be a tiny bit of a smudge that's actually there, but if I were to just show you this casually, you probably wouldn't be able to tell that I was originally in the center of this shot. And besides, why would you want to take me out of this rather majestic looking shot that was both adaptive pixeled because it was shot against the sun, and I also snapped it myself using the S Pen. I say it all the time about cameras, smartphone or not. Know your machine. To get better at creating, it's best to know the ins and outs of your camera so that you know what tools you have in any given situation. And because of everything it is capable of doing, the Galaxy S22 Ultra might be the camera phone that effectively balances the sheer amount of tools with the quality that can come out of them. As I kind of mentioned earlier on, I think Samsung knows they have had a winning formula for some time now. After all, these are the cameras from the Galaxy S21 Ultra in the design of the Note 20 Ultra from even before then. And so Samsung basically said, it's time to make all of this, everything we've already engineered, more accessible to the places that people like you or I will need them the most, social media. And while it might not be perfect still, opening up all that hardware and all that processing for places like Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok is a great step forward. Again, you can check out Issa's video actually testing it via each and every platform in the link appearing above and found below. That's not to say I think this camera is perfect. While I am pretty happy with the quality coming out of basically every lens for the best possible results, like with most smartphones, you have to stick with the main sensor. And even though there are a number of really fun things you can do with this camera, the majority of them, as you have probably noticed, uh, have to be done at 1080p or even lower resolution. But I get that there have to be trade-offs here and there, and even with some of my stylistic preferences not met, this is still a camera system that I feel I can put in my pocket while leaving many of my other cameras behind. Because as I said before, few camera phones actually inspire me to try and use as much of them as I possibly can, but the Galaxy S22 Ultra is managing to be in that short list. For more on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Sound off by hitting the like button and getting into the comments. Let me know what you think about this phone, did you pre-order one, and if you are thinking of doing so, maybe you'd like to use the link that I have in the description below as well. From there though, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching, please take care of yourselves and each other, and Enjoy your tea, everybody.